Namaste everybody, welcome to the Yoga Candy YouTube channel. Today I have a balancing class, which is going to be really great for, for beginners and all level yogis. So even if you're more advanced or intermediate, just have fun and join in. You can also make the class a little more difficult for yourself if you would like to. Um, there's no need for any props, but if you would like some blocks just to help you balance, then feel free to have those handy and just use them as you like. Um, I can always give a few little cues as to where you would use them. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. And we may have my little ginger Tom joining us. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't get too mischievous, but we'll see. <laughs> so let's start off. Hands and knees, tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're just going to take three cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, arch. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, arch. One more. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, arch. Keeping that breath nice and deep throughout the nose, throughout the class. And back to neutral tabletop. Let's just bring our hands back to our knees and come into our first balance. So bend the knees, bring the, the feet closer together, coming up onto the balls of the feet. So the front part of the foot and the toes. Look down at your toes, spread them out nice and wide. And you can keep your hands just slightly touching the floor. Try to keep your spine nice and long. So even maybe just nails or fingertips. If you'd like to, you can remove one hand at a time until you feel confident enough to maybe bring your hands to your heart center in prayer. So you're just resting your bum onto your heels, zipping your legs nice and tightly together. Squeeze your bum cheeks as well. So <laughs> engage those glutes. You might feel your legs working here. So if you want to take little breathers, you can bring your fingertips back to the ground just to help you out. Keep the breath deep and long in and out of the nostrils. We're getting straight into today's class. Don't worry if you fall out of it. And then taking the fingertips to the floor, straighten the legs, staying on the tippy toes just for a moment. Keep them as bent as you want to. And then drawing the heels to the floor. Maybe find a little rocking motion from heels to the tips of the toes. Just looking down, stretching out through the hamstrings. And then plant the big toes together, heels about an inch or two apart and hang heavy in a ragdoll, so grabbing onto each elbow. Hug the belly button back towards your spine and breathe deep through the nose. Now bend through the legs. So you're almost in like a chair pose, but you squeeze your glutes together, hug your belly button back, but you're looking down at the floor. So your body's almost at a 90 degree angle to the ground. Place your elbows onto your knees and maybe lift up from the left foot. So lift the left foot back behind you, parallel to the ground, hug your knees together. Maybe you can take your arms alongside your body. So we're in like a, almost a variation of a chair pose, but then slightly like a um, warrior three as well. Staying low, so you're really working that grounding leg. Look straight down, hug your, your shoulders back towards each other. One more breath. 
and then release that foot and inhale sink the hips lifting the chest lift the toes off the ground squeezing the glutes look down at the toes so you know that they're okay your knees are not exceeding the feet too much we're in our chair pose hands at heart center your legs may be burning here that's okay you've got this just stay there for one more breath while I let my cat out <laughs> and then coming up into mountain pose from your chair inhale raise the hands to the sky look up and fold from the hips back into your forward fold hang heavy in your rag doll holding onto each elbow breathing deep belly button back next side inhale halfway lift take your hands to your shins look forward fold once again start to bend through those knees and sitting the hips slightly back keeping your body parallel to the floor take your elbows to your knees in a prayer and lift up off of the right foot taking it parallel to the floor maybe you'd like to extend the arms alongside the body squeeze your knees together hug your belly button back and if you fall just plant your hand on the ground looking down squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you one more deep breath and then bringing that right foot to me to the left send your tailbone lower down squeezing the glutes slightly tucking the tailbone hugging belly button back chest lifts into our chair pose look at the toes make sure you can see them you can lift them off the ground and take most of your balance into the heels one more breath inhale arms to the sky look up exhale fold from the hips maybe interlace your hands behind your spine and allow them to fall up and over the head bend your knees as much as you need stretching through the shoulders as well as those hamstrings and now take the hands to the ground walk forwards into a plank position hug your belly button back press up out of the shoulder blades spread your fingertips tuck your tailbone squeeze your glutes and legs together and then roll onto your right side so we're in a side plank if you need to you can plant this left foot onto the ground to create a bit more stability this is more of a beginner variation of side plank so take the variation that works for you or you can stack your feet one on top of the other one more breath and then plant this left hand down swapping sides rolling over to the other side remember you can take that top leg in front of you parallel to the mat pressing the hips to the sky or you can keep the legs stacked breathing deep into the side plank one 
one more deep breath and then plant that right hand on the ground back into a normal plank taking the knees to the floor exhale down tuck your elbows close to your body all the way to the floor Inhale up, lifting the chest for a baby cobra. Exhale down. And push yourself up and back to your first downward facing dog. Hand shoulder distance, feet hip distance. Just start to walk through the legs and the tailbone high. Hug the belly button back. <sighs> you can always take a child's pose, bringing the knees to the floor and just resting. We're going to take three deep breaths in our down dog just to catch our breath. If you're in child's pose, come up to your down dog. Together we're going to walk slowly to the front of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift, halfway look forwards, hands to shins. Fold again. Inhale, rise to stand, hands reach up to the sky. Drawing your hands to your heart center. Lifting up through the left leg, bend it towards your stomach. You can always hold the knee if that helps you. Squeezing your glutes. Or you can have your hands at heart center and just really be conscious about drawing that knee towards your chest. Really engaging through the leg as well as finding balance. And then taking that leg behind you, take a grip of the inside edge of the foot and start to lean forwards for your dancer's pose. So you're kicking that leg up into your left hand, sinking the chest slightly forwards, lifting the knee and the foot up high, look forwards, holding this pose for a few breaths. And then drawing that foot, that knee back to meet the opposite knee. Just taking a little quad stretch, drawing that heel towards your bum. So you're still on that standing leg. And then slowly bring the foot to meet that right leg. Take the right leg in front of you and give your foot a little shake out. Ah, inhale, hands lift to the sky, mountain. Exhale, fold, bend from the hips. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins, look forward. Fold again. And inhale as you rise to stand. Hands up and over the head. Ah, back to your mountain. Same thing on the other side. Bend through the right leg, hug it towards your chest as high as you can get it. You can always guide it with your hands and keep a hold of that leg. This may help you if you're not too balanced today. But if, you're po if it's possible, take your hands to your heart center and squeeze that knee towards your chest. working those hip flexors and that psoas muscle squeezing it all together and then very slowly bring that right leg behind you taking a grip of the right hand inside edge of the right foot slowly move forwards bringing your chest almost parallel to the mat not quite but just leaning forwards 
kicking up into that right hand, kicking high and back, pulling the shoulder as well. Try to keep your shoulders facing forwards as much as you can. Right hip is pointing down towards the floor. Hold and breathe. Don't worry if you fall out of it. And slowly, slowly, bring that knee back down to meet the opposite knee. And squeezing with both hands that foot towards your glutes, giving a little quad stretch. And then very slowly releasing that foot, taking it to the ground. Taking the left leg in front of you, give that foot a little shake out. And then inhale, hand to the sky, look up as they touch. Exhale, fold from the hips. Inhale, half lift hands to shins, look forward. Plant the hands, hit our shoulder distance onto the mat, stepping back into plank. We're in our very last balance of the day. We're going to roll to the right hand back into our side plank on the right side. Take the variation that works, maybe the left foot in front planted on the ground. Maybe you can stack the feet. One more breath. And then rolling over to the other side, planting the left hand, rolling to the left side. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Take the variation that works. One more deep breath. Plant the right hand onto the ground into a normal plank. Lift up through the shoulders. Squeezing the glutes, hugging the belly back. Knees to the floor. Hug your elbows close to your body as you come down for Chaturanga, coming all the way to the floor. Inhale to Baby Cobra, lift up, squeeze your glutes, and exhale down. Send your bum back towards your heels, open your knees wider than your mat, and resting down in a wild legged, a wide legged child's pose here. Just breathing, coming back to the breath. Let go of thought, sink into the mat. Walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat, grab the right wrist and sink down, taking a side stretch. Try to draw that right armpit towards the floor, getting a little deeper, keeping the breath deep. up and then take it over to the other side taking a grip of the left forearm resting the head down drawing that left armpit towards the floor
come on up push yourself back towards your heels into a seated position take a seated position of your choice cross-legged preferably and we're just going to do some neck stretches so extend the arms lock the elbows fingertips on the floor roll your shoulders back and down drop the head to the left you already feel that stretch through the shoulder all the way down to the fingertips and then start to roll slowly towards the chest and taking it over to the other side feeling that stretch on the left and then rolling towards the chest taking it to the left feeling the stretch on the right and then slowly to the other side so just keep going now at your own pace keeping the breath nice and deep finding some rolls from shoulder to shoulder Taking two more, so just one on each side now. Over towards the left. And then over to the right. Release the hands to the knees. Roll the chin to the chest and then raise your head giving your shoulders a little roll, taking your fingertips in front of you, open up through the palms, thumbs on the outside edges of the hands, and we're gonna place the fingertips on the ground and lean forward. So we're getting a stretch down the forearms, down the backs of the hands. Open up through all the fingers, maybe slightly bend the elbows, just to add a little extra stretch. And if it feels good, maybe find a gentle rocking motion. But be very gentle with your hands. These, these little ligaments, they're very, very delicate. So take your time, be very gentle. Don't rush anything. If anything feels sore, just ease back a little. A few more little rocks here. And then slowly peeling the hands off the ground giving the wrists a little circle in one direction and then a circle in the other. And we're going to do the same thing, but on the opposite side of the hands, thumbs on the inside edges of the hands, turn the hands so that the tops of the hands are on the ground this time. We're not going to put much pressure at all. We're just leaning forward slightly until you can feel a slight stretch at the top of the hands and through the wrists. And maybe it feels good once again to gently rock from side to side. It may not feel good, so do what feels right for your body. And then slowly peeling the hands off the ground, give them another little circle in one direction. And then in the other. Change the position of the legs, the opposite leg in front if you're in a cross-legged position. Let's just take one moment here of complete silence together. We're not going to be long. Try not to skip this if you can. So tops of the hands to the knees, sit up tall. Closing the eyes, shoulders roll back and down. Let them rest. We'll talk you through just a moment of relaxation before we end our class together. Relax the crown of the head. Allowing all thoughts to come to the sensations of the body and to the natural rhythm of your breath. Taking that relaxation all the way through the skull down to the eyebrows, relaxing the forehead and the eyebrows. Feeling that 
relaxation swirling around the eyes, relaxing the eyes and the eyelids, relaxing the corners of the eyes and down through the cheeks and into the jaw, relaxing the jaw, all the way down the neck and into the tops of the shoulders Feel them become heavier and drop lower. And then that relaxation moving down the arms to the elbows, they become heavier. Maybe they drop a little more. Down through the forearms, feeling the weight of the wrists and the hands against your legs. Relaxing the fingertips and the palms feeling that natural curve of the hands. Feeling the relaxation come all the way back up to the shoulders and through the chest. Notice the breath and the rise and fall. Take notice of between the shoulder blades, relax them even more. Taking that wave of relaxing energy through the chest, through the rib cage, down into the pit of the belly, and all the way to your sit bones, feeling the weight of the body against the floor. And then all the way through the thighs to the knees, maybe feel them drop a little heavier towards the ground. Then that relaxing energy moving through the shins to the heels and the ankles, feeling how they touch each other and touch the ground, the warmth. Taking that relaxation through the soles of the feet to the toes. Consciously relaxing the legs the arms, the shoulders, the face, breathe for a moment, just natural breath, being aware of the sensations and the sounds around you. Start to, start to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Eyes still closed, lifting the palms off the legs. Rotate the hands one direction. And then in the other. Eyes still closed. Inhale, raise the hands above the head. Allow the face to follow as they touch. And draw your hands to your heart center. Taking a moment to appreciate the body you have today, the fact that this body is capable of practicing yoga in a physical form, and also being completely aware of your mind and being grateful that you're being present, taking a moment for presence, allowing that mind to be quiet, Just take a moment to appreciate balance in your life. If you're feeling out of balance, then continue to practice mindfulness, practice presence. More balance will come to your life. Be thankful for the breath. And bow your head. Namaste everybody. You can open your eyes. I really, really thank you for allowing me to guide you. It's such an honor. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any requests in the, in the 
comment box below. Also, let me know where you're practicing from. I do love, love hearing that. Um, it's just wonderful. I can practice with you wherever it is in the world you are, California, India, all different parts of the world. It's just fantastic. So I hope you take this balanced energy without you throughout the day. Enjoy your day and until next time, namaste.